How do you start a typical day in your life? It's a serious question. I'm sorry. Chances are you probably do in one of two ways. You either immediately grab your phone and see everything that you missed overnight, or you wake up in such a frantic hurry that you need to get yourself and your kids together to make sure you're exactly where you need to be on time. That sounds about right. While both of these things are certainly justifiable and that's why they are part of the normal experience, do they really sound like the optimal way to start your day? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do they actually sound like something that's going to bring you to happiness, which we all seem to be pursuing? Or do they kind of suggest that happiness is something that is inherently owed to us rather than something that we need to consciously create? Wait a minute. Well, I've always been big on the whole idea of creating a morning routine. And from that, I've always had a lot of interchangeable parts. I tried this thing for a little while and it works and I don't like it and I put in something else. But for the most part, I've always just had a morning routine. But there's one thing within that morning routine that's persisted amongst it all. It's, it's a manage to be there from day one and it will be there until the day I die, or at least I plan on it being there because I've per firsthand experienced just how powerful it can be. And that thing is something that we all have access to. You're kidding, right? That simple thing is gratitude. Yes, I start and even end every single day of my life by mentally making a list of at least 10 things that I am grateful for in life. While a lot of these things may regularly repeat, or some of them may be very broad, and other days they may be very specific, each of these things have played a drastic role in the mindset that I bring to every day and the mindset that I go to bed with every single night impacting the quality of sleep that I get. like the sound of that. Gratitude is something that we all have access to, and I don't care how challenging your life is or how difficult your life is, there are always things for us to be grateful for. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, look, it's nice that you have time to start every single day with gratitude, but I've already got enough on my plate. The bottom line is, I've been just as busy as you at various points in my life but I always make the time for it. Doesn't matter if I need to be up at 6 a.m. to do something for work, I just make sure that I get myself up at 5.50 to make more time for that which is important to me. And while it may have cost me 10 minutes of valuable shut-eye, the impact that it has on the attitude I carry towards the day is worth way more than 10 minutes of sleep. I'll beg to differ, sir. Whether you feel pretty good about things, or if Christmas morning as a child is the last time that you woke up feeling genuinely excited to start a day, gratitude should become a part of your regular life. It can have a ripple effect on so many different aspects of it, and it's something that we need to stop neglecting and start accessing. You sign me up. To see a new video like this weekly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or to like me on Facebook to be a part of my mission to make personal development more interesting for both of us.